Hi all. Hope you are all in peace with the chapters we are dealing with. In the last session, we dealt with the third chapter, Matchbox, a story written by Ashapurna Devi and it, a Bengali writer and this was translated to us by Prasenjit Gupta. We spotted Nomita sitting silently and fuming with anger when she discovered a crumpled letter in her husband's pocket addressed to her. This letter was already opened and read by Ajit and he never felt mentioning it to Nomita. Probably this triggered anger in Nomita. You may be wondering what's the big deal in one reading the letter of one's partner or spouse. You must understand it's not a matter of mere reading but it's a matter of trust that counts much. Reading a letter once twice or few times is of course pardonable. It's acceptable or as you say, it's okay. But doing this repeatedly in spite of several warning will definitely lead to intolerance. Reading one's letter is like sneaking into one's private affairs or privacy. It is like questioning his dignity or self-respect. For proper understanding, let's just turn the table. Imagine a woman or a wife constantly reading the letters of her husband and not feeling to mention it to him. The whole face of the story would change. The society would start accusing her, blaming her or labeling her or branding her as an arrogant lady. A lady without respect. What if men does? Men are always privileged. Why don't women get their fair share in the system? Let's see what Nomita does, what all steps she takes to correct the ugly habit of her husband. Let's look into the paragraphs. It's nothing much. A letter from Nomita's mother. It's a standard speech. The good woman has once again placed on the record the news of her various hardships and complaints getting worse. Misfortune upon misfortune. The ceiling of her room is cracked and the rainwater falls through in ceaseless streams. If this is not immediately remedied, she will have to die crushed under the weight of a collapsed roof. Of course, she does not dread that eventually. Her daughter is a queen. Her son-in-law, high-minded, large-hearted, therefore, etc., etc. An indigent widow, without husband or son. She was successful in consigning her daughter to a wealthy family's house on the strength of looks alone. But the good lady has never stopped taking credit at the slightest opportunity for her skill in the matter. And she's been finding such opportunities all alone. It is nothing much a letter means the letter which she receives periodically or in a regular basis from her mother. It is a standard speech means the content always being the unwanted miseries and demand for more money. The phrases various hardships and complaints, misfortune after misfortune refers to the standard speech. The problem now she shares is the crack in a ceiling. She fears rainwater would fall in ceaseless streams. Ceaseless means without an end. Stream means steady flow and hence probability for the roof to collapse and she dying crushed. Collapse means break apart. Crushed means to be destroyed into powder. So the unending rain will break the ceiling and will destroy her into powder. The fun is she doesn't expect or fear this happening immediately but hopes it may take place eventually means finally in the future. She believes that her daughter lives like a queen because she is married to a rich man. Her son-in-law is large-hearted, refined and large-hearted means generous. We are introduced to another character that is Nomita's mother. What do we know about her? 
she's an indigent widow meaning poor widow without a husband or son again a reference to patriarchal society where a woman is thought to be safe in the hands of her husband father or son yet she has successfully consigned a uh, consigned meaning transferred or interested or sent her daughter to a wealthy family just because of her looks beauty was the only strength that helped her marry a rich man though her mother was settled yet her habit of taking credit or loans had not stopped this lady at the slightest opportunity means for no reasons demanded for more money moving on to the next paragraph whenever ajit sees a new letter from nomita's mother he smiles derisively and says why bother to read that i will go and fill out a money order form nomita's head hangs low with the shame and the insult of it so sometime ago out of anger and grief nomita forbade her mother from writing to her on postcards she thought that from then on she would try to send her a little money whatever she could pull together in secret so this was what uh, came of letters in envelopes too suddenly nomita flames into anger at her mother why why does she keep on begging like this why won't she let nomita keep her self respect her dignity no this time she will write and tell her mother clearly i can't do any more don't hope for anything from me ajit mocks nomita that each letter of her mother's is a demand for more money and hence there was no need to mention nomita about the letter it was enough that he filled the money order form and sent money she hangs her head low means she is filled with shame this is instinctive when somebody hurts your relatives this also reveals her desire for freedom and self respect nomita felt ashamed receiving letters in postcards she thought her personal life was exposed to everyone hence she forbade meaning she warned her mother not to write letters in postcards she also planned to pull together or collect or unite all the money that she had and send it to her mother in secret but nomita's mother never stopped writing letters her complaints her misfortunes and all her troubles continued now in the form of a new envelope nomita's anger found new horizon she started despising or getting angry with her mother she decides not to write to tell her mother clearly not to expect anything from her right then ajit steps into the room after finishing his leisurely sunday bath nomita's sharp indignation at the insult simmering all this while seems to want to dash itself violently against him nomita roars out when did this letter arrive ajit glances at her obliquely estimating the magnitude of his error another handful of cash for this he had thought and decided not to give the letter to nomita he was going to tear it up and throw it away he has made a big mistake not that ajit is going to feel abashed about that as though trying hard to remember he says letter what letter oh yes yes indeed there was a letter from your mother i just hadn't got around to giving it to you why hadn't you got around to it why why answer me why hadn't you got around to it what a nuisance ajit says i had forgotten why else liar nomita hisses like a snake Why are you saying whatever comes to your mouth don't people forget no they don't why did you open my letter this charge ajit tries to scatter to the winds what if i opened it my own wife's letter be quiet be quiet i tell you for what reason should you open my letters haven't i told you a thousand times not to 
Ajit doesn't fear Nomita's anger. He fears a row. So he smiles and affected smile and sees. If you are forbidding it, then it's a definite something. Shouldn't I make sure that no one's passing you love letters in secret? Stop it! What a common vulgar man you are! After this, it's not possible for Ajit to smile, his fake smile, any longer. Now he too picks up the poison. Now he too picks up the poison knife. He says, Is it so? Those who whine day and night and hold out their palms to their son in law, they are the high class people. A dung picker's daughter becomes a queen and so. Shut up, Nomita else. Now, Nomita wants to vent her anger, means open up her anger on her husband. It is exactly at this moment Ajit steps after a leisurely Sunday bath. Here in these paragraphs, you can find so many new words. Indignation means anger, simmering, breaking out anger, want to dash violently, strike with force. Roars, meaning crying loudly, especially from pain or anger. Oblique, means not direct. Magnitude, means relative size. Abashed, means ashamed. So we find Nomita wants to break out her anger with force and hence she roars or uh, asks loudly about the letter. When did the letter arrive? Ajit looks at her obliquely, not directly in the face, and calculates the size of his mistake. He is not going to feel abashed or ashamed or embarrassed. He acts as if he is recalling the incident and convinces her that he didn't get time to give or hand it to her. Out of grief, she calls her husband a liar because she knew that this was a deliberate attempt which had taken place several times earlier. Nomita's anger is also compared to snakes hissing. She sees right through Ajit's lie. Ajit tried to scatter this matter into winds, that is to make it least important. It is angry because thousand times earlier, meaning despite her frequent regrets and reproaches, Ajit continued to do so. Ajit is not afraid of Numita's anger, but of your row. Row means noisy argument. So he smiles an affected smile. Here, affected means artificial and tries to ease the atmosphere by making fun of her, insisting on the idea that the letters were some secret love letters and that's why she is keeping it in hiding. The term love letter irritates her. She calls him a vulgar man, vulgar meaning unrefined ordinary man. And now this in turn brings out his dominant nature of suppressing her. He stops his fake smile and he picks up the poison knife. Poison knife is a beautiful expression referring to the insult that Ajit uses against Nomita. Most often, words flinches or inflicts more pain than deeds or physical injuries. We find Ajit call, calling her mother as whining, begging. And he also addresses her as a dung picker's daughter, questioning her humble origin. This aggravates the situation, worsens the situation. She asks him to shut his mouth. On the other hand, Nomita's mother thinks that her daughter is a queen and her son-in-law is large-hearted. But Nomita seems to be a symbol of tear. On the midway of the story, she becomes more strong. She musters up courage as a means of defense. Now, Nomita does many things to overcome her, her present situations. I think this is enough for today. And why don't we see the rest of the chapter in the upcoming session. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.